आज आपको वेस्टबुलो ऑकुलर आर्क मींस वेस्टबुलर सिस्टम किस तरह से आईज में इन द फॉर्म ऑफ निस्टैगमस प्रेजेंट करता है और उसका पूरा एक्सप्लेनेशन बाय वेस्टबुलो ऑकुलर आर्क के बारे में बताऊंगा और उसमें कुछ एक दो एग्जांपल भी दूंगा जिसमें ये पता चलेगा कि अगर डेड लेबरिंथ है या कोल्ड कैलोरिक टेस्ट में डिस्टैगमस अपोजिट साइड को क्यों आते हैं वो पूरा फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड पैथोलॉजिकल जो वेस्टबुलो ऑकुलर आर्क में डिफ्रेंसेज आते हैं वो बताऊँगा फ्रेंड्स आप अब देखें वट आई गो वेस्टबुलो ऑकुलर आर्क विच प्रजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ निस्टैगमस इन द आईज नाउ फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी हियर द लेटरल सेमिस्टर कैनाल ऑफ द लेफ्ट साइड एंड लेटरल सेमिस्टर कैनाल ऑफ द राइट साइड दिस कैनाल बाय द वे ऑफ एकोस्टिक नर्व वेस्टुलर नर्व गोज टू फर्स्ट द स्कारपा गेंगलियन यू कैन सी स्कारपा गेंगलियन एंड देन फ्रॉम द प्रोजेक्शन फ्रॉम स्कारपा गेंगलियन इट गोज टू द वेस्टुलर न्यूक्लियस विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डिटर न्यूक्लियस एंड देन फ्रॉम वेस्टुलर न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द लेफ्ट एंड वेस्टुलर न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द राइट इट क्रॉसेज द मिड लाइन एंड गोज टू द एबडुसेंट न्यूक्लियस कॉम्प्लेक्स In fact, this nucleus complex is very near to the oculomotor nucleus complex also, and from here the projection goes to the from the left canal via scarpa ganglion vestibular nucleus goes to the abducens nucleus, and from abducens nucleus it bifurcate one to the opposite lateral rectus and one to the same side oculomotor nucleus and then to same side medial rectus. so friends if it is left lateral semisolar canal problem then it represent it is represented to the same side medial rectus and opposite lateral rectus now you can see again on the right side right scarpa ganglion then right vestibular nucleus then it crosses to the abducens nucleus complex and then further divided to the opposite lateral rectus and same side medial rectus now friends you can see here that if this labyrinth is dead because of labyrinthitis and uh because of trauma and this lateral canal is not transmitting any uh action uh, potential in the uh, vestibular nucleus a uh, vestibular nerve so you are here you can see that there is zero resting discharge now friends here you can see that we have put maximum seven discharge this is resting discharge resting discharge mean friends when you are sleeping you are not doing anything nerve they have got firing per second and that firing per second is known as resting discharge now for example we have taken the resting discharge is seven now this labyrinth is dead it has become zero now what happens how you compensate and what is the plasticity of brain that brain which has got develop a defect and somehow brain overcome that defect with due course of time is known as plasticity of the brain now here you can see that because of cerebellar projection into the mid brain and that is by superior cerebellar peduncle middle cerebellar peduncle inferior cerebellar peduncle now here it is middle cerebellar peduncle through which the cerebellum declamp this particular vestibular nucleus now when it declamp the nucleus then the resting discharge automatically from zero it become four now here you can see friend on the opposite side it is normal lateral semisolar canal normal labyrinth normal vestibular nucleus projection now here the resting discharge is seven because it is seven it is zero there is a nystagmus how this nystagmus is created you can see that because of zero the vestibular nucleus here which transmit Uh, to the abducens nucleus of the opposite side and same side oculomotor nucleus create hypotonia of the right lateral rectus and hypotonia of the left medial rectus because they develop hypotonia and the the opposite muscle that is the right medial rectus and left lateral rectus they are normotonic because it is seven discharge so they pull the eye to the left side left ear disease 
they pull the eyes to the left side very slowly. And this slow phase of the nystagmus has got vision. So the patient can see the rotation of the surrounding or head because the vision is present. Now brain comes to know of the abnormal position of the eye and brain try to correct it and that is known as correction reflex of the brain and that is fast component. You know friends in fast component will be toward the right side. So left labyrinth disease that is damaging disease and the fast component to the right side. And during this fast component there is no vision because there is no vision so patient always feel rotation in one direction only and that is true what I hope. Now friends you can see again back to the dead labyrinth and you can see that how this dead labyrinth and this side of the brain compensate the defect which has been created by dead labyrinth. You can come back again to this diagram there is zero discharge because of dead labyrinth there is a resting discharge 7. Because of resting discharge 7 you have seen that we have explained already the slow and fast component of the uh, nystagmus. Now there is a cerebellar declamping here to compensate the nystagmus and there is a cerebral clamping here. So cerebellum clamp the normal resting discharge and make it 7 to 4. Now here declamping leads automatically uh, spontaneous tonic discharge in the vestibular nucleus and it becomes 0 to 4. And 4 and 4 they matches and there is no nystagmus. This happened after 3 weeks of dead labyrinth. Now what happens after 3 weeks? That cerebellar declamping continue and it becomes from 4 to 7 discharge per second. But here the cerebellum forget to uh, clamp and uh, uh, it continue to clamp it and it becomes 0. Now here it is 7 and here 0 and there is a reversal of nystagmus after 3 weeks. Now brain suddenly comes to know that this side is normal, this the resting discharge has come to the 0 and abnormal side has already gone to 7 and brain again try to by a cerebellar clamping release the clamp and further it become from 0 to 4, 4 to 7, 7 and 7 they matches and after 3 weeks to 1 and a half month there is no nystagmus during normal working, normal walking, normal day-to-day uh, -day work of the patient. But whenever patient will take a round turn in the road and riding a motorcycle then he will may feel what I go because during that phase this will change, this will not change and this change will create disparity between the projection of the vestibular system on the two side and that will create, create hypotonia on one side and normal tonia on the other side and there will be nystagmus. And that's all friend. Uh, by this vestibular ocular arc you can add any disease on this uh, vestibular ocular arc any disease near the vestibular nucleus near the mid brain, mid brain on the one side and you can depict what will be the kind of nystagmus in which direction it will be and how it is compensated and for continuing seeing my or further video friends subscribe my this video so that you can get next video i am dr jp proit retired professor and head dnt Thanks.